Charlton. Yeah, you might. And this is Unisport Uncut. Uncut, episode number 46. Now get close. I'm so excited to get this going. Really? We're, we're close to, four, to 50. You know what? We are almost like matching the 46 with 460,000 subscribers. So when we hit number 50, 50. we better have 500,000 subscribers. So you get going. Get your friends to subscribe. We, we, we need it to happen. Boom. Okay. Joel, so today we've got 10 minutes on the clock as per usual. Really? It's an uncut. Wow. There's sound on. I'm just messing with you. I know it. Let's get it on. You never know with this guy. Best Anyways, signature boots. As you can see, best signature on, uh, boots on the table here. We've seen a lot in 2017. Obviously, we don't have all because they wouldn't fit on the table. This is cream off the crop. But let's just jump straight into it. With okay. the first one. Okay. okay. We're, we're, we're kicking it off with a bang. <laughs> CR7, Victorious, came after he won the Ballon d'Or. It's white. It's kind of black. It's, of course, gold. 777 pairs of these. This is my pair number 610. Clearly in your size. It clearly in my size. It's like more like the size of my arm. But, um, but that's how it goes. Um, and it's, you know, it's just a beautiful looking boot. I think it's, it's, yeah. it's not as good as the white and black and gold boot that we saw um, a couple of years back. But I think it's, it's pretty soft. You get a, a shiny gold <laughs> sole play. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's cool. Definitely not the best super limited CR7 uh, mercurial. No, know? no. But, but I think it was it's, a, cool. it's a strong start to the year. And, yes. and it's just be, kind of become a theme that they slap some gold on a boot whenever he wins. So there we go. Speaking of gold, Pog Buzz, Pog Boom. Pog a Boom. 17 plus. Wait, 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 control. wait. No, no, no. <laughs> do, do, is this still cool in like late 2017? I don't know. I think it was it was still uncool in like late 2016. Um, but uh, tell that to Philip, by the way. He's still doing it. Okay, but but like gold. This this must be the Joel to dream boom. Take it away. It's super solid, you know. Uh, there are many things in this in this booth that I love. Camouflage, mm -hmm. black, mm -hmm. gold, mm -hmm. more black, a little bit more gold, gold soul plates, ultra boost. Gotta love the boost. And it's, it's one of the best looking silhouettes, you know, uh, it out is. there. It is. It has to be one of the best looking aces we've had yes. so far. And, you know, not uh, this is pretty flashy. It's, it's kind of like in your face. Mm -hmm. But, but with the right outfit, I'm just going to say one word. Black. 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 Um, it, it's going to look so crazy. Yep. And it did. And, 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 and I think it's nice that this, for, for Adidas, it's something else to what we have out there because, you know, it's just a different direction with, you know, we have the CR7 boots, um, we have now the, the Neymar boots, we have the Messi boots, now we also have the Pogba boots, and Pogba is a little bit more about the swag, you know, the flashiness. So now we also get signature boots in, in you know, in, in that kind of, like, direction. Really nice, you know? Yes. Beautiful. Then, well, we got to the London Derby. Puma, they have, you know, released... A ton of signature colorways for their, uh, their derbies, Derby Fever. As you can see on the table, we haven't brought all of them. And uh, they both released one for um, Bearing and one for Chess Fabregas. In this is the obviously for Bellerin. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Chess Fabregas. Yes, exactly. Um, Champions of England. Moving on. Uh, Blue Evil Touch, not much to say. I didn't think it was the best looking boot, but uh, that's just how it goes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like uh, nothing shockingly crazy. Yes. But again, uh, with, the, with the Chelsea kit, looks clean. Decent. You know? Then came February. <laughs> There's only one pair of these. And you might all be thinking, what on God's green earth is that? <laughs> but this, my friends, is my custom-made signature Pantofolodoro Lazzarini's. It says, Unisport Life, J. Mike. Why did I go um, uh, green and yellow? Because, uh, you need to show the soul plate. Oh yes, there is. Uh, there are of pictures of uh, old uh, newspapers in the soul plate as well. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I like it a lot. There's Paolo Maldini, but but you know, obviously one pair made in the world, custom made for me. An important signature boot, of course. More important than the Pellerin. <laughs> but uh, but there's going to be more of that. As you can see, there is some even more ridiculous stuff on the table. We're going to get to that later. Going back to Puma. There was more Derby Fever made for uh, Marco Royce. Really cool, I think. Really nice. Really cool. You know, of course. There's just something about black and yellow. Yes. It's seriously one of the best like color mixes you can have. It's so good they even made a song about it. Back in the days. Back in one the days. One of the most watched uh, YouTube videos, actually. Wow, really? Yeah, it, it has. 
racked up some views. No, sorry, I'm confusing it with the other song. Despacito. No, not that's that one. The, no, that's no, the, you know, uh, what is it? The Paul Walker, you know, uh, song. Oh, uh, See You Again. Yeah, exactly. I think it's seriously one of the, I think it's the most yeah, watched the, YouTube the most video of watched, all time. Yeah. Yes. But that was uh, like, black and like, yellow. Yeah, black and yellow. There we go. <laughs> and I like the fact that you know we got the reference to the yellow wall here with the, with all the hands cheering and you know the flags and is that even a yellow wall right there? You know the yellow wall, right? Yes. Okay, good. I'm starting to worry. For you. <laughs> <laughs> then we move on to one of my favorite signature boots of the year. Really? Yeah. Forge for greatness. CR7. Chapter Beautiful. Four. Chapter four. No. The, Chapter four. Chapter four. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, uh, but I mean, I mean, this is beautiful. Of course, it was meant to kind of signify his time in Manchester, where he was forged into a great athlete. It's like a um, you know industrial city. They use iron. They forged it in in flames, and you know, blah blah blah. He was forged into the superstar he is. I just thought that it looks like the the Superfly Two Elites from the World Cup. Yeah. I, I, it's just you know the reference is. Uncanny, let me go and get them. Um, He's not gonna find it. Oh uh, 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 sure he did. Have them right. I know where my boots are, man. But this is like a this is like a little bit more like this is like, you know, when you edit a picture with paint, it looks like this. <laughs> when you go into Photoshop, yes, you, you get, get the green out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All that stuff. All that I agree. But I, I understand the reference, you know, they, yes. they look similar. Um, of course, this is better. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And a beautiful boot, they, they just keep smashing with the, with the CR7 signature boots. But Jolter, wow. 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 I still remember your, your first reaction when you saw this for the first this time. This is some good stuff. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know, it's gold. It's got a, a shiny sole plate, uh, kind of like um, almost rose gold to it. It has the tongue. It has the reference to uh, to his Roma days. I mean, this is obviously the Totti boot. The Totti boot, yes. Know. A uh, 2,500 pairs worldwide, uh, referencing referencing his 25 years at Roma. I mean, just doesn't get any better in terms of sick. Sick, sick, insanely sick, sick. crazy and clean. Then there was the the the, the boot made for um, Sergio Aguero in the Manchester derby, which kept getting pushed back because the Manchester derby kept getting pushed back. <laughs> so so that's kind of thing when you when you want to do signature boots around certain uh, uh, launches or, or dates or happenings, uh, as we're also going to get back to about one of the boots that isn't on the table. Well, if stuff keeps moving, you can't release your boot. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, you know, I think it, the baby blue, I'm not a... It's not the best. It's going to look good if you have the right outfit. Yes. Otherwise, not really, you know, the easiest colorway to wear. No, I agree. Right? It looks like a pair of baby shoes. Yes. Yes. Then, I, I, I mentioned the ridiculous boots. Then, the hammer dropped, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to say any months, but let's just say that the baby came home. <laughs> Pantofola Doro, Jolter, signature colorway, okay? I, I, I went with a pretty ridiculous gold. Yes. Soft leather. Yes. We have snake skin. Snake on skin. The heel. Are you kidding me? On, the, on a pair of football boots. <laughs> this is too much. AG sole plates. You so, know I love to play on AG. So you basically decided that you were gonna, you, you know, you were gonna call the Pogba boots and race it with snake skin. Look, man. I don't know how many guys have put snakeskin leather on their football that would only I had be, to slap it in, you know? Would, I didn't want only the full upper to be like this, you know? Because I wanted to try the oh, oh, you, oh, insanely you didn't. Oh, you didn't. Oh. It was close. You know, of course I wanted to do everything there is, but that's it. Dope pair, I'm gonna try these out, you know? I'm definitely not gonna keep these. So basically what happened stuff. is that Jolta saw my extremely awesome looking pair and he decided to just, you know, go, go. Boring. But then, Jolta, there was more. Adidas had more for us, the messy boots. Clean boot, we've, uh, we've talked about it before. Um, it's close to being one of the best Nemesis colorways that we have seen, but the messy kind of ruins it. I mean, it's not like, actually on the CR7 boots, they, for once, they actually made the, the, the writing a little bit like uh, uh, simple and you can't see it that much. And then, you know, I mean, unless you're called mess, as we discussed, it's not that cool. No, it's a bit of a turn off. But know? it's a good looking boot, I mean, uh -huh. That, is, that aside, I can almost live with it. I almost want to wear it. it it's that good look. That's just how it goes. The last boot, the Neymar boot, that just came out, 
So nice. It's a good. I think it's really nice. It's a good looking boot also. I agree with you. Tell us a story about Neymar. Obviously his first uh, signature Mercurial colorway. Uh, so that's pretty good. He's now officially back to being a Vapor 11 player. And it's kind of funny, you know, now that Nike have their two biggest stars, CR7 in the Superfly, or his modded Superfly, if you will, and Neymar in the Vapor. I like the fact that, you know, they got the swoosh back on the side. They tell a story, you know, with uh, every little line on the There boot. are tons of details, man. You know, they look like a star map. It's called Written in the Stars. But they're actually, you know, they actually, oops, over time, we don't give a sh. They actually signify the path that the ball took when he scored or yeah, when he scored those goals. So that's pretty cool. They look like star maps, pretty cool. But the only thing I'm a bit bummed about is the fact that they, of course, they had to do blue and yellow to really replicate the colors of Brazil. Mm. But if they had, you know, swapped the yellow, the vault with black, can you, can you, can, nah. can you see no. it for yourself? This is a little, uh, maybe I'm getting too old here. Maybe I am getting too old, but it's just a little bit too, you know, Playmobil flashy with the well, like the blue and the and the yellow. Again, for me. it's it's not an easy colorway to wear, in no. my opinion. But, but if again, if you can match it well, I it is beautiful. You know, I agree. I, with I really you. think it's nice. And I the, agree with you. And the vapor almost always also looks good. It just looks it looks fast. fast. Yes. It looks fast uh, and it looks good. You know? Yes. It's kind of hard to mess it up. Yeah, and the and the swoosh on the side actually gives it like a nice old school vibe. Right? But he can mess it up when he plays for Barcelona. You know, mess it up. No, no, no. Okay, but Jolto, there obviously there are a few boots that we uh, we don't have on the table. Quickly, there, there are the 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 CR7 Campeos that we get in here. It's red. It's got the Portuguese colors. There's a bit of gold on it. Looks beautiful. Forty-seven. I think 45 or 47 pairs uh, were sold, 75 pairs worldwide. Um, it's, it's like beautiful boot, but Insane I really want my hands on it. It's just, it's just never gonna happen. No. And then another, um, another shout out goes to uh, a boot that we do have, but just not on the table, the Wayne Rooney boots, which we get in here. Obviously, Hypervenoms Hyper finish. And actually, they, they're supposed to look like the St. George's Cross. The problem was that they're celebrating Wayne Rooney scoring 250 goals for Manchester United and Nike had them ready already in, in like <laughs> 2016. And they've had them ready for a long, long time. But then they actually had to wait for Nike to release the Hypervenom 3 to release the Hypervenom finishes, which was the Hypervenom, I mean, yeah. They, they, they because just, they didn't score, so of course they can't release the boot. Of course, but but <laughs> there must have scored. been people like sitting in the Nike headquarters <laughs> thinking, okay, so the launch of the Hypervenom 3 is two months away now. Wayne, um, get moving. Okay, <laughs> one month, Wayne, Dude, seriously. Just give us one goal. Seriously, <laughs> get rapping. And then, you know, he hasn't scored for ages. Hypervenom 3 drops, he scores a worldly. I mean, that was that was a funny one, but but beautiful boots. Absolutely beautiful boots, lovely boot as well, by the way. So, um, so yeah, I, I think that's it. Jolter, we're way over time here. Which is the best looking boot on the table? And you can't say you're wrong. Totties. I think this, you know, this is just classy, elegant, clean, incredible. You know, I, I love it. What about you? Ha! Oh, so fast and I've... No, no, you know what? It can't be anyone uh, other than this because it's 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 beautiful, and it's also you know it's got all the proper little references uh, to to Totti, um, you know his tongue, his his X, uh, you know for his number. Uh, I, the the play it is beautiful. The only thing we're missing basically is the intertrack all played, and it would be you know perfect. But it's, so it, nice. it doesn't get better than that. But guys. What do you think is the most beautiful signature boot of 2017? One of the boots on the table or one of the boots that isn't on the table? You should let us know in the comment section right down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the green bubble somewhere over my head. Leave us a like if you had a good time. Get us to those 500,000 subscribers. We're gonna be happy. And also, Jolter, share the video with the homies. We're exactly, out. we're signing out. Um, no, no, I, no, yes! No! Yes!